I really don't know what to say for this video. I'm not going to rant. I'm not going to break anything. I'm not going to flip the table. The problem is I'm kind of just numb at the moment. And I know that term has been tossed around and a lot of people think it sounds stupid. But it's the truth. It's almost as if I've become used to losing. And I don't like it. I hate it. But it's almost as if all of these games, that feeling of, oh, we can, we can come back. We can do this. We've got this, is kind of gone. I, I say it, but there's this little, little guy, this little thought back in the back of my head that says that with this team, there's no way. And five and five? We're a 50% team? Really? I'm still almost trying to come to terms with that. And that's why this is a little more not chill video. I'm just, I'm not ranting and throwing stuff because again, oh, I've made four videos the last four weeks about losing. So I'm kind of used to it by now. I'm not surprised. And um, this channel is all about positivity. And listen, I'm not going anywhere. You all day, every day, like I always say. But I can't find a lot of positives here in this Georgia Tech game, in this 5-5 five and five Miami Hurricanes team. I just want to know where my team went. I want to know where the you that I know went, where the Miami Hurricanes went. Was last year seriously that big of a fluke? Because I am really starting to think so. Yeah, I know. Well, Coop, of course it was. We got lucky here. We got lucky here. I know. But a win's a win. But, you know, five and five. The only team worse than us in the coastal side of the ACC is North Carolina. They're what, one and eight? Boy, one and eight. Five and five just about feels as bad with the kind of hype and expectations we had set for this season. Like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna break anything. I'm not gonna flip the table. I just fixed the shelf after breaking it uh, during the Duke game. I just, I really don't know what to say. I kind of feel dumb for making this video, but I really wanna see what you guys have to say. That's really kind of why I'm making this. Let me know down in the comment section below how you feel right now. I still, this is an unpopular opinion. I don't think that I want Rick fired. Not yet. Now listen, listen to me. Listen to me very closely here. If this happens next year, there will need to be some serious changes in this program. Serious changes. But I am that person that says, Give him the opportunity to hire an offensive coordinator or to make serious changes during the offseason for this year. And man, it would stink. But if we have to go through this again next year, there's going to be some serious changes that need to be made. Serious changes. 27 to 21. Georgia Tech, of course, comes out, runs the ball as we expect, as everyone knew. They caught us off guard with the, the what, two or three passes that they threw. That always happens because everybody's selling out for the run, I, of course. I feel like that overall you still can't point fingers at the defense. That play that Bandy had was kind of, man, like I wish he would have fought harder to try to make a play on the ball. You guys know which one I'm talking about, but... There's not a lot of fingers that can be pointed at the defense. I will say that I would like to see better or more adjustments made at halftime because I feel like last year Diaz made a lot more adjustments at halftime for the defense. And it seems like we're not doing that this year. I don't know what if we're just not doing it at all or what the deal is or if we're just that tired that we make that many mental mistakes. Because again, the defense is on the field the majority of the game. I'm not blaming Nikosi Perry. Uh... It's still really probably the play calling, offensive line, and 
there's just no fight. There's not that 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 dog that's on the offense. We're lacking a playmaker that is also a vocal leader. We don't have that on the offense. There's not that guy that everyone looks to and says, this guy will make a play. This guy is going to get in our faces if we don't convert this third down. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody that's really holding everyone on the offense accountable and being that vocal person, that leader for the offense. We don't have that. Heck, in the stream, I even said, look, let me come play for the Canes. Let me suit up. Listen, I'm 112 pounds soaking wet, so you you can't put me in for a single down the whole season, but I'll be there as the vocal leader. I'll slap players on the shoulder pad. I'll grab their face mask and butt helmets. I'll be that vocal leader for the offense. Somebody needs to do it because right now we have no one doing it. It's just, I'm just frustrated. Like I said, that's been the theme this season. Frustrated. You can point fingers and and blame a lot of different things. There's a ton of things that need to happen, mostly on the offensive side of the ball. Again, like I said, coaching, play calling, offensive line. uh, The list goes on and on. I I could continue. Uh, This could be a 45-minute video, but obviously we're we're not going to do that. But I I really don't have the the want to to go more in depth on this video, and that that's sad, man. I hate that I feel like that. Now, like I said, I'm all about trying to look at the positives. We have two more chances to make a bowl game this season. I did say that if we can't beat Georgia Tech, we're probably not beating Virginia Tech. They're definitely not beating Pitt. You guys have been seeing some of these football games that they've been playing in. The the mediocre Canes can't be a thing. It can't be a thing. College football is such a better place when Miami is playing well and doing good. And us being mediocre, it just it can't be a thing. I didn't think that it could get worse than some of the seasons that we've had in the past. You guys know the era that I'm talking about. Guy wore a, an orange tie. You 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 know what I'm talking about the car salesman. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you know. Five and five. I wish I had more to say. I'm going to review the tape and look at the stats more in depth. Probably tomorrow. Um, but at this point, we just got to move on to the next team on the list and see if maybe by chance, maybe we can get invited to the Cottonelle Bowl or Angel Soft Bowl or Kmart Bowl. I don't know. What's a really low bowl playing someone? I don't know. I don't know who we would play right now. I really don't. But I don't really know what else to say. Like I said, uh, we just got to get back to the, the drawing board and hope as fans that we can pull out a win against one of these next two ACC opponents, Virginia Tech or Pitt. I'm really just disappointed. I'm frustrated. I know, Coop, this is kind of a boring video, Coop. I, I know, I get it. But like I said, I'm kind of just, I'm, I'm, I'm numb. I'm used to losing, which is not right. That's not something that a Miami Hurricane gets used to, losing. No, I'm sick of it. But like I said, let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about the Georgia Tech game. Don't hold back. I will approve any comments that get held for review. So speak your mind. Leave it down below. Georgia Tech fans, you can leave your trash talk down below. Uh, you guys earned the victory. So it is what it is. Let's move forward, see what we can do. Guess there's next year, right? You know, so anyways, guys, I uh, appreciate in during the live stream for the Georgia Tech game. I got a ton of donations. There were a lot of new donators. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. I appreciate all the new subscribers and the people who also just hang out week to week who don't donate, don't subscribe, don't even talk in the chat. I appreciate you as well. So I got to say, though, guys, no matter what, no matter what, what we can lose every game i'm still wearing this jacket 
I'm still repping at my 2017 Coastal Division Champions. Still repping my five and counting hat, which by the way, not sponsored, but everyone is always asking, Coop, where'd you get that hat? Thenation.com. Here's how you spell it. You literally spell it duh, like duh. That's how you spell it. Duh Nation. Type it in thenation.com. And uh, they sell these five and counting hats. Still counting because it's not happening this year. But anyways, 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 move along. And be sure to stay tuned, guys, because definitely after all of this, I'm going to release my newest rap song. It's called Run Run Pass Punt. Oh, my, my dog's coming into the frame to say hi to you guys. Run Run Pass Punt. I was not going to do it because I was afraid that it would receive too much criticism and it would create too much negativity but we need to bring awareness to it obviously it's already there but something needs to change with it something needs to be done so i have already recorded my run run pass punt song look for that probably this coming up week at some point appreciate all of you guys so much remember guys we are all one big happy college football family but at the end of the day i gotta say it is always better when you get to rep the you. I, I do this in every React video. Uh, 2013, obviously, uh, not even, not even, uh, uh, <laughs> you know. So there's that. Go Canes. College football vids. Peace out, guys.